Hello my friends, this is the big day. You are with Barbara Color and today is the day to open my Color Cubes from Sarah René Clark and to introduce you this wonderful tool. Whilst they are unopened, I can turn them around and show you the packaging. Each row and each column is a color palette. We have the three primary colors here. We have yellow, blue, and red. And between these colors, you have all the palettes that go from one to the other. So what is the color cube? No, 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 it's not a Rubik's cube. You know, we love Rubik's cube at home. We have small ones, we have big ones, but that's not it. It's not a Rubik's cube. We'll unbox this together and I'll show you everything inside. The color cubes are quite big, as you can see. If you compare it with an A4 page, it's quite big and it's quite heavy. It's very hard cardboard. To give you an idea, the package weighs 2 kilos and 600 grams. We're going to open this one to start. It's the number two. And this one, inevitably, is the number one. So here we have a little sticker where it says one and two. And if we want to write it on the box, it's a choice. You can just put the sticker on the box. It's white here, so that's, that's very great. If you prefer the box like that, you leave it that way. And inside, ta-da, ta-da! I'm going to take out the little card. Here we have the instructions. I will translate them into French, of course. You will have a small file below this video with the translation of the color cube instructions in French. And here's what's inside. Inside, in each of the two boxes, we have 250 color palettes to help us to choose the colors for our colorings. This one is so beautiful. I love it. On the front, we have the photo with the colors that apply and on the back, we have the colors on the edge and different gradations of this color. That way it can help us choose a darker shade if we need to shade an area of our coloring. Each of the cards has the same setup. So, so beautiful. Let's look at what is in the volume 2. It's the same. We have the instructions and then we have all the palettes from number 251 it's classified by theme. So here we are in the fall theme. So how do I know it's by theme? Because they are classified exactly as in the color catalog. I'll show you this. We'll take some more. What is wonderful is that they are numbered and it's very easy to put them in order later if you want. Me, I'll keep them in order. Like that, when I look for one, I'll have an easier time finding it in the cube with its number. Let's take a look at the box. Now I'm going to take it all out. I'll show you some of them. What happiness. I think I'm going to spend a good hour tonight, or maybe two, leafing through all the cards one by one. It's so nice to have them in a physical way and to be able to leaf through them. I already have them in the color catalog, of course, but there are some of them that I haven't seen because I haven't taken the time to leave through all the cards on the digital tool. They are really thick cardboard sheets. It's almost as thick as watercolor paper. To give you an idea, I would say it's at least 300 grams in my opinion. So each card, as I already told you, has the colors here on the edge and the photo with the inspiration colors for your coloring. How is the box inside? Oh, look at that. It's so beautiful. It's a dream to hold this color cube in my hands. I think any colorist will dream of having these color cubes. Inside, you see, there is a little foam. It's very hard. It's very solid. I'm going to put the lamp differently so you can see better. That's it. Inside here, so we have a little foam that protects the cards and helps keep them straight. You see, each cube has different colors. So cube one is turquoise and the color cube two is pink. Otherwise, the edges are the same. In fact, the cubes are the same. It's just, you see, it's been arranged differently here. This one, we have it here. The cubes are the same. They are simply arranged differently. And so I think pretty quickly at first glance, I'll be able to tell which cube it is when I see it on my shelf. So I'm going to put the little cards back in. Does it work both ways? Oh, no. 
The inside is not completely square. It's because of the foam inside, which is not the same thickness on both sides. So if I put my cards like that, they move around in the box. So there is a right direction. If you take out all your cards, be careful to put them back in this direction so they are well stuck by the foam. What is the color cube for? The color cube is a tool to help you choose colors for your coloring pages. I'll give you an example. This coloring here that isn't finished yet but is in progress, this is a coloring that I'm doing with the color palette number 280, which I took from the color catalog. So now that I have the color cube, I will be able to search for the 280 palette. Since they are in order, it's very easy. And here it is, I have the 280 palette. Now I have it as a card and therefore I can put it with a clip on my coloring page. And for the patterns here, I can look at which color would go the best by comparing here with the colors that are on the edge of the sheet. I find it very useful that the colors on the inspiration palette are on the edge. And so you can very easily choose your colors like that by putting them on your coloring page. You can also choose them by putting them on the pencils. For example, here I take my box of polychromos, which is not quite complete because I have colorings in progress with polychromos. But that's just to give you an example. Let's say I choose this color palette. Well, I'm going to look for a green that matches the most. I think we have our combo here with the apple green. For the mint here, I will look more in the green blues. Yes, here. The Helio Turquoise is correct. So it really helps you to choose the colors in your box of pencils and also on your color chart. If I take here my color chart by Color Family, by Color with Claire, you see the color mint here. I see immediately that it is the color aquamarine. It's really very, very easy as a tool. I'm looking for the apple green. Well, <laughs> actually the apple green is the apple green from Prismacolor. The fact of having the colors here on the edge, I think it's very, very useful to help you choose your colors and also to compare it on your coloring and see what would look the best. So if I take this coloring here that I've started with this color palette, to finish, I think I have to get out of these color combos a bit because I think it will be prettier. And so I had prepared a second color palette, the 293. Uh, so I'm going to get it in my box. 293. There you go. This is the second color palette I prepared. I had also prepared the numbers of the pencils so we can immediately put it here to see what colors would go well on this image and on the little fish that we have left there. I've also chosen a third one because obviously we can combine them. It's the 300. And so with the, these little cards, well, I'll have it really easy to say which one I want to add to my color combos here to make it look harmonious on my page. So in summary, these are small physical cards that help you choose your colors and boost your inspiration. I'll show you some here just for the pleasure of your eyes, as the market stall holders say. It's not just the palette that can inspire you. There is the content on the photos too. Here, for example, you can take inspiration from this photo to make shadows on a carpet of autumn leaves. There is also this one with the houses. If you have a small street to color with houses, you can really take the picture itself as inspiration. These photos are extremely well chosen. They are on matte paper. I think it's very good that it's on matte paper because when you take them in your hand, you don't leave fingerprints. You don't have to wipe them all the time. Matte paper is perfect and it is very solid. I'm not going to fold them here, but you see it's very solid. These cards are meant to last over time. I think these cards are a dream for all colorists around the world. They are from Australia. So obviously this dream comes at a cost. Shipping costs have a cost. I'll tell you more about it at the end of the video. You may be wondering here what it means, these little codes here with the hashtag F07400. 
If that doesn't mean anything to you, that's okay. You can forget about it. These are the hexadecimal codes for digital artists, in fact. These are the color codes of each color on a computer. So if you type this code, you will get exactly this color. So in reality, the color cube is the physical representation of a tool that already exists and that I've presented to you in another very recent video, which you can find in a small file here. If you want to watch the other video, it's the video about the color catalog. The color catalog is a digital tool created by Sarah Renee Clark. Each catalog includes 250 color palettes. So in all, that's 500 color palettes, and they're exactly the same as the one we have here. On the color catalog, when you click on the palette directly, you can have it, and you can scroll on the different color palettes. You can print the color catalog, and then you can write down your colors in the little rectangles that are there. I've made a complete review of the color catalog, so I won't go back over it now. They are complementary tools because, in fact, here it is the physical presentation of the color catalog, which is a digital tool. The cards are the same, but the color catalog allows you to search by keyword. For example, here, to find how to color this page, I've clicked on Ocean, and therefore, I had looked at all the Ocean pictures here. And that's where I found these three cards, which I used to do my coloring, which is in progress. So the Color Cube is a tool that is also complementary to the Color Companion. The Color Companion, I talk about it in more detail in my video about the Color Catalog. It's also a digital tool, but this one translates the colors of the color palettes into 11 brands of pencils and markers, and it gives the pencil numbers of these brands. For example, here I printed the Color Companion in Faber-Castell Polychromos. Here, I printed the Prismacolor one. I use this palette here, number 327. Here it is, the number 327. Well, the number 327 is already translated into color numbers from Prismacolor, so I don't have to search for the colors. Once I have chosen my card and my color palette, I no longer have to search thanks to the color companion. I can have the pencil numbers in 11 brands of pencils and markers. All the details about these digital tools are in my video about the color catalog. So I won't come back to that here. I'm simply showing you the difference between all these tools and how they are complementary. The color cube is a very nice physical paper tool to decorate your artist's desk. It's really beautiful. It makes it much easier to play with the cards than a digital tool. Personally, I like having paper cards to hold and live through. It really makes me want to look at them all, one after the other, and I'm sure it will give me ideas for my next colorings. So that's the color cube. It's the physical tool. The color catalog is the equivalent of the color cube, but in a digital format. So you see there, I have it on my tablet. The color catalog allows you to classify by color. If you want something green, here you have different green color palettes. And as there is the number on it, you can easily find the card in your color cube. Hop, here it is. This little frog is so beautiful. I love it. In the color catalog, you can also search by keyword, as I showed you earlier for the ocean, for example. I can search for romantic as a keyword and I have all that. I have all these as romantic color palettes. So that's it, it's very complementary. Then we have the color companion to know which pencil we should take to apply this color palette. This set forms a suite. It is called the color suite which is truly, absolutely extraordinary. And on Sarah Renee Clark's website, you have very significant discounts if you buy a bundle of several items. Of course, I will give all the links to Sarah Renee Clark's website in the info box. There are not only items to buy on Sarah Renee Clark's website, there are also free coloring pages to print, there are stickers, many little things. I will also give you the links there if you want to see. So now it's the time to tell you about the price. I'm not going to tell you the exact price here in this video because at the moment there is a release discount 
on the website of Sarah Renee Clark because of the release of the Color Cube. And I would not like to announce a prize that you will not find anymore, maybe by the time you watch this video. Of course, you can buy each Color Cube separately. You have one prize per Color Cube. There is a discount if you buy both Color Cubes and there is an even bigger discount if you buy the complete Color Suite namely the Color Cube 1, the Color Cube 2, the Color Catalog Volume 1, the Color Catalog Volume 2, and the Color Companion. So there is an overall price for all these items if you buy them together. For Europe, it's important to know that these products come from outside Europe, so we'll have to pay custom fees. Unfortunately, they cannot be avoided, and you will also have to pay international shipping costs Note that Sarah René Clark bears part of the shipping cost to send the cubes to Europe and also all over the world, of course. Until now, more than 6,500 color cubes have already been ordered. It's a frenzy. Everyone wants them, including me. As soon as I saw the color cubes, I wanted them. So is it reasonable? Mm, I'm not sure. Is it an item I need? Mm, probably yes. And is it an item I'm going to use? That's most definitely yes. I also think it's a tool that will broaden my range of possibilities in coloring, give me ideas. For example, would you have had an idea like to color an orange but to make the outside of the skin blue? Me, personally, I would never have had the idea. I'm so happy to have received them and I'm very happy that I will soon be able to start coloring with you using these very pretty little cards. Speaking about coloring with you, this page by Lulu Mayo is a page from her new book, A Million Sea Creature. She kindly sent me this page for free to color. Thank you so much, Lulu Mayo. I have almost finished it and have filmed everything, so you will be able to have a video very, very soon of the coloring of this page. My friends, I'll quickly pass you a few color palettes inspired by the sea, which is a theme that really inspires me. And it's already time to finish. Feel free to comment any questions if you have any. If I know the answer, I will answer to you immediately. If I don't know the answer, I will ask to Sarah Renee Clark and I will answer in the comments so that the other subscribers can also benefit from the answer to your question. Thank you so much for following me, my dear friends. Subscribe to my channel if you want more content like this one. And I'll see you very soon for more colorful videos. Thank you so much. Bye bye.